Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to clear your DNS cache and your room cache. Now cache is spelled C-H-C-H-E, but it's really spelled cat, or it's really pronounced cache, which is really a common misconception with a lot of people. And so what your DNS cache is, is it's basically, it keeps all the websites and stuff similar to that in a little folder, I guess you could say in memory so that it can reference it really fast so the processor doesn't have to go reference it from the server itself and then so like say if there was an image on a website well it might have put that image in your cache folder so then whenever it tries to run so whenever you, you try to load up that image it will go straight to your cache folder and get that image that probably made no sense but you can look it up online if you want to learn more about it and stuff. Okay, so you might think, okay, why do I have a reason I need to clear my cache? Seems like a good thing. Well, websites update. They might not keep the same picture for three years. So what you want to do is you want to clear it out so that you don't have old stuff in there. So what we're going to do... Just open up your run dialog, type cmd, okay. So now all we have to do is type ip config and then uh, forward slash flush dns and it says successfully flush the dns from all the cache, okay. So that's all you need to do for your DNS cache. And this also, a lot of times, if you're having internet connectivity problems, d try this trick and it will work. It will fix your connectivity problems sometimes. Also, your RAM cache. Your RAM cache, it's, it's similar to that, but it's referencing programs, not just your internet. So to clear that, you can do it through the command prompt, but it's easier to do it from a shortcut. So I'm going to show you the command prompt way first. So what you want to do is you need to, um, you're probably going to start off with your C users and then your username. But what you want to do is type CD backslash, which will take you to your C drive or whatever your main drive is. And then you want to CD into Windows. And then you want to CD into System32. Okay, once you're in System32, you want to run dll32.exe and put a space and then advap vapi32. D L L comma and then process idle task. So if your computer's been idle for a while, it, it'll take those idle tasks and it'll kind of clean them up and stuff. And then enter. Alright, and you didn't get a message, didn't get an error, so that means it's done. Okay guys, but I'm sure you don't want to just go through your command prompt and type that every time you want to clear your RAM cache. But you don't need to do it every time you log on, but just just every once in a while. So what you want to do is just right click, go to new shortcut. Then you're going to type percent win dir percent and then you're going to do a backslash system32 you're going to do another backslash and then you're going to do your run dll32.exe and then space and then the advapi32.e or dot dll I believe yeah dot dll and then comma and then process idle task and then next and then 
on DLL, uh, just type whatever you want. Um, clearing RAM cache. Finish. Now, if you execute this, should have done it. So that, so that should have cleared your RAM cache. And I guess that's really all there is for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like it if you did. Dislike it if you didn't. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you.